Mighty Max was created in 1993. Man, I debated to put Mighty Max on my list, and now thinking about it, I, I'm happy that I actually did. This show is pure shonen, and I love every moment of it. It's this young kid with a magical hat that allows him to create portals and whatnot. And he's the destined one. And his bodyguard is is uh, Anna Schwarzenegger. Is his bodyguard. And he, he fights too much. He loses himself and becomes berserk. And he has a bird that um, there's like a bookworm or his um, techie and stuff like that. But it's magical. And he has all the information. And I love that um, they all have to work together and use good ass teamwork to save the day because not one of them are strong enough to to beat it and i love the aesthetic the art style i love that um they fight enemies that are based on different cultures it makes everything so much unique and and just keep it fresh because you're finding the devil you're finding a demon you're finding a four-arm creature you're finding a giant snake it's just it just keeps it interesting seeing so many different um, uh, different designs like Aztec design, Greek design, um, Egyptian designs. It's just super fun, super fun. The characters themselves, they're not that special or unique, but they're they'll do the job. They're they're just interesting to see and stuff like that. There's nothing to come home about, but I still enjoy it. I have fond memories about this cartoon simply for the fact that it was the first time I felt a cartoon was made especially for me in my mind. Um, there's nothing outgoing really special about this cartoon but it has the right aesthetic that I love, it has the right characters that I love, it has Coleman as my bodyguard, you know, the Boulay Coleman, but and just everything was just in the right it hitting me in the right tickly spots and yeah that was uh, that made my my 1993 all right guys this is uh, yeah this is it peace guys and have fun yo